Hello everyone, welcome back to more Dominion Online. Playing today against... What was that name? Auntner? Alright, what's in the... Uh... I know all these cards, this is pretty simple stuff. Ryan, what Magpie is? Okay, so, I mean, counterfeit's good trashing and buys. Mm, Soothsayer's an attack, there's gaining, is there draw somewhere? Sort of, but not really. I mean, Magpie can draw, Ironmonger can draw, but neither of them is very likely to do so. That's the big problem with this engine, is that you can't really draw anything. But... I don't know. Well, Ironmonger could draw if you had victory cards in your deck. Which we will. Hmm. Magpie, huh? I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, actually, I probably... I think Magpie is actually a great card here. Maybe I should have taken that instead of the Ironmonger, because it... It draws treasures, which is a thing you're going to have in this deck, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm bad? But I love an Artisan here. One's gonna have a lot of magpies. Well, like it kind of anti-synergizes with counterfeit, right? Because this trashes the treasures, and the treasures are the only things magpie can draw. Discard two cards. Okay, this isn't like gear. I'm not keeping these for next turn. Uh, yeah, I think I am supposed to take a magpie. I think I want a soothsayer. Right? What did they get out of their magpies? They drew a copper, and they gained another magpie. Mm, kind of sucks to put these back right before the shuffle, but not much I can do about it. That's fine, I guess. Oh, no, I have an action because of Artisan. Because I, I, sorry, because I revealed Magpie with Ironmonger. Okay. Throne Room? I've accumulated a decent number of actions. Yeah, let's take a Throne Room. It's a little bit greedy and it might not work out. Want to do? Bought an artisan with treasures. A throne of dungeons. Bought a sentry. It doesn't give actions when you play it the second time, right? 
Correct. Okay. I was kind of hoping for a an action there. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to take a counterfeit here so that I can top the soothsayer and still get value out of all my stuff. And just buy a province. I don't know. I have one dungeon in play. Okay. I mean, throwing a soothsayer might be a good thing to do. Probably is. But we'll see what happens when I get my two cards. Ooh, okay. I don't really want that dungeon. Yeah, because this is about what you expect to happen from an Ironmonger. You get a, a dollar or two. And this is just enough that I can throw in the Soothsayer. And buy another province. But it does mean I don't get the dungeon coming into this turn, which is a bummer. Opponent has a big turn because we gave them, like, seven cards. Also because, like, I don't know, they're building a deck that does things. So they'll have big, big turns. They're, they're committing more to keeping their deck under control than I am, that's for sure. Uh, just have another Ironmonger, I think. Probably going to need to add... No, I don't need to add more silvers. I've got a bunch of golds. By the way, I have, what, two curses? That means opponent must have four? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I have two curses. Wait, what? Oh, you may discard a throne. Um... I'll keep it, though. Artisan, probably for silver. I don't think I really need throne rooms. Sentry would be pretty good, actually. My, hand has, my deck has a lot of junk in it. Let's take that. Doesn't matter what I top decks, so I'm about to draw it with the sentry. Oh, but I should have probably discarded the throne room before, I, if I had realized I was about to gain a sentry. But I didn't think it through. Um, you know what? <laughs> Let's get rid of the throne room now. Because... It doesn't fit well in a hand with gold, I feel like. I don't know. It's okay. There's likely to be an action there that I can throw in. Let's just keep it. Nope, I'm bad, but I can buy a province anyway. Actually, also, I might get Soothsayer into an action. Easy. So now I have exactly three curses. I can tell because I have 12 VP and two provinces, the three curses canceling the estates. Opponent has four curses. This gets them six, meaning I'm winning the split. Also, we're close to piling out curses, and magpies are already gone. So, opponent has four sentries, wow. 
I don't know, there's a potential endgame condition coming up, but there's not really any third pile that's in danger of emptying at all. So, who knows? Opponent might be building a good enough deck that they can just keep provincing reliably while I'm suffering through a big pile of green and purple cards. Obviously, it looks good for me now, but that's what happens when you play as like a kind of boring money deck with a little bit of stuff in it against an engine. Is like the money deck is ahead for a while, and then if the engine is well built, it comes back. Well, well built and is appropriate to build. Sometimes, like, you can build as good a thing as you want out of the components that are around, and they're just not good enough. I don't know if that's the case here. They're really risking things with buying all these sentries, huh? What if I just, like, buy four of them and win the game? Oh, that's two provinces, huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. A little scary. Ooh. We like gold. Okay. That's pretty good. See, my deck's not as bad as you might think. Ooh, I maybe should not have shuffled there. I'll keep a silver. So I have one coin. Nine more in hand is ten. I can duplicate a copper to make it thirteen if I want. Or duplicate a... Sorry, duplicate a gold to make it 13. Duplicate a copper to make it... 11. Or duplicate none of them. Well, I think by the time I'm at the bottom of my deck, the game's going to be over. So I should probably copy the gold. We're buying a province. I think a sentry is actually fine. It threatens to end the game more than a duchy does. And if I ever draw it, it won't be so bad. No, I should just get the duchy. Take away their source of alternate VP. It's definitely a beginner mistake to, like, when you're the, uh, the big money deck trying to end the game quickly to buy duchies. You want to make sure you can empty all the provinces before they do whatever their alternate win condition is. Here, though, there isn't really that much of an alternate win condition. And taking away the duchies is taking away their their win conditions as well. All right? If I just get enough points, they can't win anymore. But, I don't know. Maybe they're just going to double province every turn. Well, double province loses, right? So that was kind of, yeah... If we take away enough duchies, okay, we can get a province here. That's nice. Let's see first if I can get rid of any curses. But if we take away enough duchies, then that threatens to end the game as well. I don't really want a soothsayer anymore. An artisan's fine, though, right? Because it can gain a duchy. I have to top the duchy, which is a... Oh, no, I can top a gold, actually. I have enough money even without this gold. Nice. So I'm up by what? 18? 6? 15? There are enough points left... But if I buy any provinces or, like, any duchies, I'm pretty much winning. Eight and nine. There's 17 left. I'm up by 18. So that doesn't mean that I've won the game, because... 
Uh, they might manage to trash curses enough to make up the VP difference. Um, but it's going to be real. They have to get both of these on the last turn, and also most of the estates, and trash some curses that I have, and while I trash no curses. So it's going to be tough. And uh, I win this turn, right? Because I can gain a silver to hand, counterfeit it to buy duchy. Oh, they're giving up. Okay. GG. So, I don't know. Was this, like, skill? Uh, did I find the right thing to do in the... to do with the kingdom and opponent didn't? Or... Did I play better given what was in my deck, or was I just lucky? These are the kinds of questions I like to have answers to. I kind of feel like, as I said at the beginning, there's just not really enough draw to build anything really huge here. Right? And there's not, like, cantrip sources of coins, for example. Like, yes... Ironmonger can gain coins sometimes. But most of the stuff you're doing in this kingdom, you're kind of stuck with a five-card hand. And you can't gain extra coins. I mean, I guess you can gain some. Opponent managed to build up a turn with 16 coins in it. <clears throat> right, they got, they got eight of the magpies. Um... And they use that to draw stuff, but their deck couldn't have that much treasure in it, right? Um, because they were trying to draw through stuff, and the treasures are all stop cards, and also because they were counterfeiting their treasures away. So the magpies got worse at drawing. Um. I don't know. I feel like just loading up on golds and doing a few things to try to get through your deck, you know, to filter your way through your deck, which is what I was kind of doing, is probably better than trying to build a whole dang engine. I'm not even sure the artisan was good. It probably was. Yeah, it was. Because I had six bucks. It was better than any of the fives. And I got it early enough that I wasn't, like, already drowning in a sea of cards. The danger is, like, you buy this Artisan card and you just never get any value out of it. Because it gains... But it gains to your hand. I used it to gain a counterfeit that was good. I gained some... Something that cost five, didn't I? I think... Ironmongers? I gained, I gained an Ironmonger at some point. I gained a Duchy in the end. Yeah, I would say the Artisan was good. Whereas, yeah, opponent's deck just kind of, I think, ran out of gas. They didn't have enough gold from Soothsayers. I guess, yeah, so Soothsayer making gold for counterfeit to trash is what you kind of have to do to get big, big turns. So they needed an engine that could play many Soothsayers, but still have a lot of cards with Magpies, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I don't totally understand, like, why I won this game. I think I made reasonable tactical decisions and had a reasonable plan, but... An opponent was close. Like, the game looks like I smashed them. Um... But if they'd been able to pick up a province or two a little earlier, if I, or if I had whiffed on one a little earlier... I wouldn't have been in the position to say you're not allowed to buy provinces anymore, which is what I eventually did. And then you're not allowed to buy duchies anymore either was kind of the uh, nail in the coffin. All right, well, that's a game, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.